of the Lake Orion Downtown Development Authority Board of Directors, Tuesday, January 11th, 2022. It is 6.31 p.m. Could we have call to order, please? Uh, Chairperson Burgess. Here. I think it's Treasurer Shell. I can't remember how many Dr. Caruso. Here. Susan, Susan excuse me, could you speak into the microphone? Oh, I'm sorry. The mic's not out. Okay. I'm sorry. No. Okay. Dr. Caruso? Here. Member Barnett and Member Lo uh, Cole requested to be excused. Member Horvath? Member Laurent? Here. Member Sheridan? Here. Member Van Portfleet? Present. Um, Chairperson Burgess, we have a quorum. Thank you. Appreciate that. Moving on to item number three, approval of minutes. Um, you will notice that there was an amendment in your packet. So number one, DDA board regular meeting minutes for December 14th, 2021. You can approve these as amended if you, if you uh, agree with the amendments. Um, move to approve as amended. Do I second that. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Can everyone Aye. take a moment to make sure the microphone is directly in front of your face? <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Okay, try that again. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Moving on to number four. Number four is the presentation. At this time, Jason is in a little bit of a traffic jam. So if it's all right, we'll have, once he arrives, we'll have him speak. I'm moving on to number of item five, call to the public. I don't see anyone present. Okay, moving on to item number six, consent agenda. All items on the consent agenda are approved by one vote. Number one, annual audit presentation, page 23. Number two, annual financial reports, page 36. Number three, financial reports, page 41. Number four, director's report, page 49. Number five, committee minutes and work plan and event updates, page 65. Item number six, marketing report, page 76. Motion to approve consent agenda. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Moving on to item number seven, approval of agenda. By order of the president chair, no matters will be discussed after 10.30 p.m. unless council board commission votes to continue the meeting. We have a support. Oh, sure, support that. Support. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. On to number eight, financial matters. Item number one will require a roll call vote. It's on page 102 of your packet. Bill approval. Uh, motion to approve disbursements in the amount of eleven thousand nine hundred twenty-six dollars and twenty-eight cents for January twenty twenty-two. Second. Roll call, please. Van Portfleet? Yes. Burgess? Yes. Caruso? Yes. Laurent? Yes. Shell? Yes. Sheridan? Yeah. Motion carries six zero. Thank you. Item number two, Village of Lake Orion budget calendar, page 107. Uh, motion to approve the budget calendar as presented. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries, thank you. Moving on to number nine, new and old business.
do we have new and old business? Okay. I don't see anything in the packet. There's nothing in the packet, but we have to present and see if there's something that. Not even funny oh. business? I have nothing to present at this time. Okay, thank you. Okay. Moving on to number 10, reports, resolutions, and recommendations. Executive Director. Good evening. All right, um, I just briefly, I wanna go over the budget calendar. Um, the priorities meeting is rescheduled to February 8th before our, um, before our regular DDA board meeting. It will just be a short discussion about the, um, the surveys and the results of the survey. We will have um, time during the meeting to make a motion and have further discussion if it is needed, but that will be February 8th. And then March 8th, based on that priority discussion and um, discussions with the committees, um, we will have the initial budget for review and discussion at the March 8th regular meeting. We will then have a budget workshop where the work plans can be discussed thoroughly um, on March 22nd. And then on March 29th, I am proposing that we have a joint meeting with um, the Village Council, with the Commission's planning, and with the Parks and Recreation Committee, so we can um, present that and receive their feedback. And then, um, and then according to um, according to the Village schedule, the proposed budget. Um, April 11th, is that correct? April 11th, it needs to go in, and our meeting would be right after that, but hopefully um, we will have had enough discussion that um, we can forward our stuff um, to them and they can approve it, and then we can recommend it backwards, but it'll be okay, <laughs> because we've been talking about it the whole time. So that's, um, and if anyone has any questions about that, they should contact me. So, um, the priorities is not listed on here. It's a new item, correct? The priorities meeting is, um, what is your question? Priorities meeting is not listed on here currently. It's a new item, correct? For March 8th? No, it is. Um, it, is it is a typo in here. Um, February 8th, it says 6 p.m. prior to regular meeting. That should say priorities workshop prior to the regular meeting. I have no February 8th. On page 107 oh. in the budget calendar um, of the oh. agenda, on the agenda part, because we're not, the village, I provided you with the village preparation calendar, and then I put on our, on the agenda, I put our simplified budget preparation calendar. What page are you on? I'm on 107. page 107. Budget calendar, Village of Lake Orion budget calendar. And then also you mentioned March 9th, and I don't see that on here either. March 8th, and it's on page 107. Yep. March 8th. March 29th. 29th. Oh, March 29th, yes. February 8th, March 8th. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to assume uh, item three is highlighted conduct, but that shouldn't be highlighted. I think we talked about that before, right? That is um, that is Village Council. This document is a Village Council document um, that we have received, and we don't need to um, worry about the highlighted section. Could I, could I ask that this gets the March 8th added so it's complete and the changes you suggested and then just sent out as a new, because I would like to just have the accurate full calendar. Is that appropriate? Yeah, we can add, we can also add the March 29th date meeting with council and planning commission and parks and rec, okay? Yeah, because I'd like to keep this as a reference. I'm sorry? And right. I'd like to keep the calendar One, in its right. accuracy as a reference as opposed to trying to find other things okay. out later, if All that right. would be okay. All right. Thank you. Right. Um, in December, um, Debbie and I had a conversation with Kelly Westbrook and um, 
Rod, uh, who's the DDA board chair in Oxford. Um, Kelly Westbrook is the DDA executive director. <coughs> and um, from that discussion, we have developed a Stronger Together program campaign. Um, and it will start with our ICE Fest. It's a Stronger Together ICE Fest. It is the um, statute, the ice carving festival that we had last year, where we had um, live ice carvings every Thursday in, in uh, February. Well, now we will have the live ice carvings um, in Lake Orion, but we will have ice sculptures both in Lake Orion and in Oxford, and we're working on getting um, transportation between the two cities on those Thursday nights. Um, and you can see the information about Ice Fest is on um, pages 69 through 71. And then on page 72 in your packet, um, there's our um, events calendar. And the events calendar um, kind of talks about the other Stronger Together um, program components that we have going so far. Um, we're, we're planning a restaurant week that will go, that will span the two downtowns. And we're also um, in March planning a um, shopping, shopping passport that would be with the two downtowns. And there's, and there's more, <laughs> but that's what we have on the books right now. And I'm very pleased to be working um, with Oxford. I'm, I'm very pleased that we can um, continue to offer um, good programming between our two communities. Um, tomorrow night, we have a business power hour scheduled. It was going to be in person at Fork and Pint. They've been our very generous hosts um, for our power hours. However, we have changed it um, to a virtual power hour tomorrow night. It will be at 6.15. Um, we sent out a newsletter to all of the businesses, um, and Brad is calling businesses to make sure that they know about it. We'll be sending um, just a brief email with a link um, just to make sure everyone is aware that we're, we've moved to virtual. It's um, Hudson Collective is going to be there. They're going to talk about um, what their, their tutorial calendar is going to be. They are planning um, social media tutorials for our businesses because that is a, a need that they have, re they have requested um, support on. Um, the video that I showed before we started our meeting, um, that was um, for our LO Lens contest. Um, that was week one, and those were, and that showed all of the submissions, um, and DNA Imaging was our winner for week one. If you go to DNA Imaging's Facebook page, you'll see that they have shared that video because they were delighted with it. <laughs> So, um, and, and that is an, um, a new thing. We didn't do that last year. And I'm really pleased with that video. So if you have any feedback um, or advice, you know, please share that with us. We're going to continue that. So if there's something we need to fix, please let me know. <laughs> All right, February 1st is our Main Street evaluation. This is the annual evaluation um, where we um, receive our Main Street accreditation. We have been accredited since 2006, but every year we have to earn it. Um, there are 10 different um, criteria that we have to be able to pass, and, and um, so far we've been doing our jobs, so we've been passing. But um, February 1 is when that evaluation will take place again, and it, it will be, um, it is going to be the same schedule that I sent out to you before. There are no changes as far as the open sessions and the interviews are concerned. Um, however, pending approval by Kathy LaPlante, and she is our National Main Street coordinator, pending approval by her, we're going to shorten the timeline in the afternoon in order to make it possible for us to complete our accreditation um, evaluation process and also have, um, be able to have people attend the Orion Township Grand Opening from 5 to 7 with a ribbon cutting at 6 p.m. With one of our board members being um, the supervisor, I, it felt appropriate to make sure that we could all be available. Um, 
All right, so the new schedule in the afternoon, um, it would be, the, the change would be after the, the last open session is at 2.30 with Village Council. And then at 3.30, we originally had an open, you know, just in case session scheduled, and it will be instead, we won't do that, it will be um, report preparation and then the presentation to the DDA board will be at 4.15. Um, just a reminder that we are going to be having the open sessions here in this building so that there's lots of room for everyone to spread out, but we will also have a virtual attendance option. All right. Um, the double, double redemption dollars, um, as of today, check run was today, <laughs> um, the total redeemed in the program was 7,290. Um, I do have a, 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 I'm requesting a clarification from the board. Um, it was a total of 12,000. I want to, the, the $12,000 limit, is that a total of the redemption that we're giving or, is, or am I taking 50% and putting it towards the 12,000 and then the other part goes towards gift certificate redemption, our regular program? Am I only counting the 12,000 as the double part? Because we had that discussion and I... That was my understanding, but... Ken might know better. Uh, the 12,000 is towards the additional 50% of value. The original program was already funded. Okay. So the board agreed to put in $12,000 for the additional 50% of value. So total redemption, if you will, would be 24,000 before the 12 is used up because the 12,000 for the normal redemption is already funded. Mm -hmm. That was the kick. Okay. Yep. All right. That was my understanding. So it's $7,290 of the total 24,000 that has been used at this time. Does that sound right? Well, you should, I would suggest you say it a little bit differently, such as 3,600, and $45 of the 12,000 has been expended, which is half of the 7,120. Okay. Roughly. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So um, in our business newsletter every week, um, now that we have the redemption, um, we've been reporting it. I will change the way it's reported because it's not reported that way right now. So I will change the way that's reported. Um, but uh, the good news is um, businesses are responding and we are daily getting um, gift certificates uh, for redemption. I, I, that, that program has been astoundingly uh, well received and people have been getting out there and spending their money to help. And now the current program, because we should have redeemed everything that was available at the end of 2021, and the current program only runs till April 1st, I believe it is, correct? The Our Town, you're speaking of the Our Town dollar sale, and yes, the, the one that we, the downtown dollar sale that we distributed in December of 2020 um, expired 2021, December 31, 2021, and the downtown dollar sale that we had in December of 2021 expires April 1, 2022. Correct, so there's a great stimulus still coming. Thank you. The festival warming hubs are open. They will start this Thursday, January 13th. Anyone who is interested in hosting one of our festival warming hubs should contact the DDA at 248-693-9742. Um, the, um, and my last note is the locale, which is our, um, our rentable meeting space on 24 West Shadbolt. Um, it is kind of across the street from the back of Fort and Pint and it's, yeah, right down the street from where my office is. 
and they've done a beautiful job renovating that building. Um, they are hosting a <coughs> Business Connect meeting on Tuesday, January 25th at 8 a.m. It is a chamber, um, a chamber function, um, but they're going to be open and they will be happy to see their downtown neighbors and I hope you can come. I'm sorry, what day is that again? That is January 25th. It's a Tuesday and it'll be from eight until 9.30. Before we go to Joe, I just would like to say that, um, was it Susie that created the sponsorship? Yes. Packet here? Yes. Well, Susie, if you're watching this meeting tonight, job well done with excellence. Yes. Beautiful. I want to be a sponsor just because this looks so cool. <laughs> um, the sponsorship page is on... 71. On page 71, um, please note that we have already sold out for one, one level of sponsorship. I want to um, thank Ken Van Portfleet for um, looking over this and discussing this with Susie. Um, she's been real excited about this pro pro program, and I'm sure she said that she appreciates your input. But I, we appreciate your input. <laughs> she's doing a great job. I agree. Kudos to Suzanne. Okay. okay, our village manager, Mr. Joe Young. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know we do have the full audit report here at the office. It's also available online uh, to you if you have uh, a reading you'd like to get to sleep to at night uh, or you love numbers, you're in, in the right place. But um, the other thing I did want to mention that uh, the Planning Commission has before it's still the uh, rear apartment complex, which uh, is com they're coming back with more uh, information. They had a meeting, a discussion last week with the Planning Commission, as did the lumber yard developer, John McGraw, to get some direction. So those items are still in the works. Meanwhile, the Eman Center, they uh, have their preliminary PUD approval. They're now working on their contract and the final plans for the development to take place. So those are all on the website and the planning commission items uh, in case you'd be interested in that. Uh, that's all I have at this time. Mr. Joe Young will be uh, at the warming hub on Thursday evening. So with, with, you, the, with the yes DDA chair, so we hope you all come and uh, see us out there. All right, moving on to number 11, call to the public. No one here. Number 12, board comments and training feedback. Have, um, before we start there, have we heard anything from Jason? Is he gonna make it? Okay, while well, Molly's checking on that, how about if we begin with Chairperson Joan? Do you have any comments? Yes. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to second that. Okay. <laughs> uh, I have no comments this time either. Just been a whirlwind of a start to, 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 to 2022 with now masking again, right, in this Omicron variant. But uh, it's a good thing. Hopefully we'll, this will come, come in passing. But also just been busy at the household. The office has been busy, so just been... Did not focus on this stuff, unfortunately. So my goal is to focus on this with Debbie. The next board bill meetings is, is a new, is a new. What am I? The new. What am I? The new board chair, or the vice chair. So I'm looking forward to get more involved with Debbie in that process. So, uh, but besides that, looking forward to 2022 being a, a really good year, and I'm looking forward to the uh, the, the, the planning meetings with the uh, Main Street uh, projects. Uh, Thank you. Uh, looking forward to a strong year this year. Everyone matters. Every board member has their own set of contributions and attributes and appreciate everyone here. I did want to make a comment about the warming hubs. The warming hubs, for the general public's knowledge, we're looking for hosts. And when we say host, it doesn't mean board members here necessarily to do that. It doesn't mean internal administrative staff. We're looking for civic organizations, 
501c3s, like Rotary might be one, or scout troops, uh, church, uh, local churches, if they would like, they can come on down, contact our administrative staff at the Downtown Development Authority and look to sign up to host one of those warming hubs. It's an opportunity to participate in a community. And what's really um, nice about it is you'll have 30 to 50 members of the community walk by and have an opportunity to meet and greet. And it's a cool thing. I just wanted to kind of clarify that a little bit about that warming hubs. Is there two of them this year again? Yes, sir. Same locations? Yep, the American Legion and Flint and Anderson. Right across from 313? Mm -hmm. Across yeah. from Heritage. So right now there's seven weeks of yeah. Thursday nights that it's going to go for and it could be longer. Enjoy. Everybody get out there and enjoy. Thank you. I just want to say that I'm very excited about the start of a new year. Um, I think we are very, very fortunate to be able to be a part of what takes place in this community. And I am surrounded by great minds and lots of passion for this community. And um, I think we just have a tremendous opportunity to continue to add value um, to our businesses, to our properties, um, because we can accomplish so much more when we all work together. So thank you everyone for your time and your dedication. And uh, I am really looking forward to this new year. Okay, item number 13, our next. Uh, before we do that, I'll go through the presentation in the hopes that Jason is able to arrive. Okay. But I'll start, I'll start with um, on page 18, um, it is the 2021 summary of events and accomplishments by the Paint Creek Trail. They hosted seven events last year, and they, um, they have one, two, four pages worth of um, information about all of the things that they accomplished. They had a very, very busy year. Um, so that's page 18 through um, page 22. And um, Jason is co-owner of Oat Soda, and he is also the Village of Lake Orion's um, Paint Creek Trailways Commissioner. He um, has been helping to plan on page 16, the Tour de Trail. And it is an educational event that will, um, that will take place um, on the Pink Tra Creek Trail and at the Pink Creek Trail um, Trailhead, which is in um, children, well, uh, the Meeks Park and Children's Park area. Um, they are planning an event. Um, the objectives are to have a fun and safe event on National Trails Day. Um, that is June 4th. It, it, um, National Trails Day is always the first Saturday. Um, they are going to offer engaging and informational e educational experiences, um, including, I believe, a, a kind of a safety um, obstacle course for the kids where they can kind of go through an obstacle and learn the safety um, uh, rules that they should be following. It will be a fundraiser for the Friends of the Paint Creek Trail, and we'll, um, they are planning to have a, a, an aspect of this event that will support businesses um, in downtown Lake Orion and the other communities where this um, tour de trail takes place. They are planning to do, um, to sell raffle. Um, they had talked about um, having food and beverages there. So they'll be um, taking over, uh, the plan is for them to take over a portion of the Children's Park parking lot um, for the morning, Saturday morning. They don't plan to have it for the entire afternoon, um, just for the morning. Um, so it will start at 7.30 a.m. 
Um, it will include the, both runners and walkers um, will be part of a fun run um, starting at 8 o'clock, and then um, the tour de trail for the cyclists will start at 9. And I want to thank Jason for um, providing us for this information, and we're sorry that he couldn't um, come. We know that he was um, making an effort to be here, and um, circumstances beyond his control made it um, not possible for him to arrive before our meeting was over. Okay, item number 13. Next regular meeting is February 8th, 2022, and at this time, we will have the adjournment. Anyone? Want to make the motion? Motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> motion carries. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.